Hey, what's up everyone? I'm in Singapore right now. I've been here for a week already. But I know that uh, I had cut off my Malaysia video devotionals, uh, I think two weeks ago. I only stopped at day eight. I was planning on doing until day 14. But actually the reason why was because I got food poisoning and I, well, I was sick for basically an entire day, a day and a half. And I <laughs> didn't know what to share. I didn't also didn't want to keep my parents um, worried uh, until I was fully, fully healed, fully, um, fully back to full strength. But I definitely believe that there's a message in that, in the fact that I got food poisoning. So I was actually at Perhentian Island. It's near the city of Kotabaru. I was in Perhentian Island and I got food poisoning from, I'm not sure, something that I ate there. But what was really interesting was that I believe that there was a spiritual aspect to me getting sick as well. On the island, I saw a giant spider. And for those who know me well, I've always had um, struggled. I've always struggled with the fear of spiders. And so on this island, I saw a giant spider and actually just immediately it turned my entire mood around even before I got sick. When I, you know, when I ate that food that made me sick, it was a realization to me about you know how when you open doors and enter into fear and go into co covenant with fear it can open doors to a lot of other things in your life to to attack you such as sickness romans 8 15 says the spirit we received is not a spirit of bondage again to fear the spirit we received is the spirit of adoption in which we cry out abba father what this verse says is that we are sons and daughters of God and we have authority to trample on fear, to trample on spiders and not to be afraid of them because of the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Every time we submit to fear, we allow fear to control us and fear can also be a spirit, a demonic spirit. And so we are thus allowing demonic oppression to our life when we allow fear to uh, control us. You know, the Lord says that he's given us a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind, not a spirit of fear. And in fact, perfect love is what casts out fear. So today, I pray that you will fully overcome fear, that spirit of bondage, that you will, you know, be able to walk in freedom and victory. That there will be no fear of any kind uh, in your life, whether it's the fear of spiders or the fear of never being good enough for the Lord or the fear of losing your salvation. The Lord is strengthening you. The Lord is empowering you day by day and you are going from glory to glory. Most recent video that I posted uh, was about can you as a Christian lose your salvation? I truly believe that you as a Christian, you know personal thing. Not a general, can Christians in general, people who call themselves Christians in general, can they lose their salvation? The question is about, can you as a Christian lose your salvation? And this is not about me, of course, or, you know, if you're following me. This is about your relationship with Jesus. Can you as a Christian lose your salvation? No. You as a Christian can never lose your salvation because you as a Christian has a relationship with Jesus and he who started a great work in you will see it out to completion. I believe the devil can use fear of losing your salvation, the fear of never being good enough to, to wreck your faith, to make you fearful that you will lose your salvation and cause you to be in bondage. I remember a very famous um, pastor on YouTube um, said that, you know, your, your next sin could be your last sin. And he gave the example of Ananias and Sapphira of how they... Uh, they sinned, you know, against the church, the early church, and they dropped dead. It was a message of kind of like fear. If you sin the next time, it might be your last sin, you might die. What the Lord taught me later on was that that's a message of fear, a fear of religion, a fear of, you know, never being good enough. But the Lord looks at you and says, you are enough. You are enough because you are clothed in the righteousness of my son and nothing can ever change that. You hear the Lord's voice. You hear the Lord's voice. You are his sheep and nothing can take you out of his grasp, out of the hands of your shepherd. So Heavenly Father, I pray right now, 
over every person watching here and over me that we will fully overcome fear and the spirit of fear. I pray, O oh God, that you will give us, uh, empower us to trample on fear, to trample on snakes and scorpions and spiders whenever they come our way, and that we will walk in authority, know that you've called us for such a time as this to be powerful, to be brave children of God, to be warriors in your army. I pray, O oh God, over every person watching that we will walk in the fullness that we are saved, that we have the helmet of salvation on, and nothing can keep us from your love. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will give us full knowledge, full wisdom, and more revelation about you, O oh God, and your character. And I pray, O oh God, that we will encounter you in a deeper way, that we will go from glory to glory as we come to know you, O oh Lord, as we come to have this eternal life, which is knowing you as our personal Lord and Savior, King and friend. I bless every single person watching. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will provide breakthrough in every area of their life. Thank you, O oh Lord. I give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. So basically, that's everything that the Lord taught me in Malaysia. I've been in Singapore now for a week and I'm going to be here for six more days. And so I hope to continue this Singapore video devotionals in the, in the coming days. The reason why it took so long for me to make this follow-up video was basically I just wanted to enjoy uh, the rest of my time in Malaysia. And then when I arrived in Singapore, I actually got really busy, praise the Lord, with um, revival meetings, which I might share uh, more about later. So God bless you all, and I hope to see you very soon.